Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode three of Settle the Score. Settle the Score is where I take movies, TV shows, and video games and replace the music in them with my own. This week, I decided to switch up my process a little bit to hopefully get some different results, and in a weird way, it kind of worked. So far, every time I rescored something, the first thing I would do would be find the scene that I wanted to rescore. But this week, I wrote the entire piece before even looking at the scene it would go behind. Like everything in life, this method has some positives and some negatives. The biggest positive was that I found myself using different techniques because I wasn't looking for a specific sound. When you already have a visual component, your brain will kind of guide you down a certain path as to what it expects you to hear behind it. On the negative side, I found myself struggling to find a scene that would actually fit the music. I did not take into account how small the pool for unscored content was, so I had a pretty limited selection. After a few hours of searching, I found out that the Mortal Kombat 11 trailer was what matched my song the best. Now, let's break down the song and see why it works. I started this piece off with a soft 15 second intro that uses a trombone and a cello. I made this section assuming that there would be some sort of title screen or intro sequence that I would be able to put this behind. After that, it dips to silence and you can start hearing a saxophone play in the background. Now, usually I would stay away from MIDI saxophones because it's very hard to make them sound real. More times than not, it sounds choppy and synthetic, but I wanted to challenge myself and see how real I could make them sound. Making these sound real is honestly a video in and of itself, so if you do want to see that, you can let me know below. Once the saxophone loops a few times, it is then accompanied by some brass and percussion. While that establishes the tempo, the saxophone fades away and is replaced by a choir. Now, a choir is also something that is very hard to make it sound real, so instead of going for a traditional choir, I decided to add some distortion and mess around with some other effects. The choir and the brass have this nice call and response thing going while the saxophone re-enters with the percussion. This plays a few times before the original melody comes back and plays out for the rest of the piece. Now, let's see how it came out. That's going to be it for episode number three of Settle the Score, but I will be right here next Wednesday for episode four. I'll see you there.